When it comes to performance testing, JMeter is an excellent tool, but it is challenging when you try to automate and integrate with other systems such as Jenkins, Selenium, Dynatrace APM, and other performance testing tools. JMeter's limited reporting capabilities, complex XML code, and its in indefinite approach to set the test configuration details such as ramp up, ramp down, and concurrency makes the load testing process more complicated. To overcome these challenges, BlazeMeter introduced TORUS. It is an acronym for Test Automation Running Smoothly. It is an open source test automation tool that abstracts and extends JMeter. Taurus script is written in YAML, that is Y-A-M-L, which is a human-readable data serialization language. So this makes the YAML configuration files that can be easily interpreted by someone who does not have much experience with any of the testing tools. In this video, we will see how to write a simple YAML script Execute it using Taurus and view the results in Taurus console for better analysis. So let us start with basics of creating a YAML script and then we will use that script to execute using Taurus. So how to create the YAML script? You can just create with notepad if you are using Windows. So let me type the command notepad. I just give the name as Taurus underscore JMeter underscore script one dot YML. Okay, so let me create that a new file. So these are the things I'm going to test now using Taurus. So before I execute, I'll show you what is there in the blaze demo.com and what is reserve.php so these are the websites that we are going to test this is blaze demo.com and uh, we will also see what is there in reserve.php so let me test with reserve.php so this is what we have seen uh, in the yaml script from port and to port this is what from port is Paris and to port is Buenos Aires and we will go with reserve.reserve.php so here you can see the flight details and uh, we have one more it is vacation.php though I am not going to test in this video but I will be using this in the other video so you can see blazedemo.com uh, vacation.php so this is the another website that we may test and uh, <coughs> we will also see uh, the place meter so, so these are the websites that I'm going to test uh, in the upcoming videos so though in this video we are going to use the first two that is please demo.com and please demo.com slash reserve dot php so let's save this uh, Taurus JMeter script so ensure that you give space between hyphen and after colon there should be space don't enter any tabs okay instead use spaces to uh, indent okay and then um, we will save the script now so after saving it so let's execute Taurus uh, JMeter script one dot YAML. Then you press Enter key. So now the console will start. So it's getting prepared, and the console is going to start now. So you can see the console, which starts with Taurus console. I maximize this. You can see the console uh, thread group. There are six uh, thread group. So you can see how much percentage it's going on. 
and here you can see how many users how many are active and this uh, orange color indicates that uh, the number of users and then here you can see the interval stats at what percentile how many hits are being there and average time between uh, it is when it is full average time connect uh, to connect to the request how much time it takes and then um, you can see the latency in the network you can also see how many bytes that you are receiving here it shows the response code of your websites so it is 200 is a successful response code and how many how much percentage of uh, successful response and how much percentage of uh, no HTTP response exception you can see here total how many counts are there you can see here so hundred percent including the error and you can see hits are there then cumulative statistics you can see here then um, you can see the labels so I have given two labels one is blaze demo the other one is reserve how many hits on each uh, website what is the failure percentage and successful percentage can see that is uh, right now it shows here you can see the failure percentage and then the average time for each website how many errors out of how many hits you can see that here you can see how many hits when uh, you can see when the users increase the hits will also increase parallel and how many uh, of those hits got failed so out of 35 26 27 you, know, you see that that many hits or fail and then here you can see the average time at a particular time limit so when the users increase hits increase what is the average time you can see parallelly so that's a Taurus console that you see and let's wait for its completion it's almost getting completed so 99% and 100% it got completed you can also see here the local how much uh, CPU it took memory it took all that so finally you get the statistics on uh, your console as well you can see uh, how many samples were provided how many got failed how much percentage got failed you can see the average time latency and connection time and you can also see the different percentile and their uh, average uh, time as well this is how you execute your Taurus uh, script and then uh, that is star is normal script and then you get to see the console with different statistics thank you for watching this video